are many different brands and types of pencil, but they all contain the same grades of lead. Grades? Well yes, grades describe the relative hardness, from soft to hard, which is the same as saying from dark to light. There are 22 grades, but most manufacturers make only 18 of those. And each grade has its own code, such as this Tombow, which is a 2B. The grades are split into two groups. The Bs stands for black, H stands for hard, and in between these two is HB, with a sort of common writing grade, US number two grade. You might also come across an F grade. F stands for fine or fine point. It's really a writing grade or it's intended to be a writing grade, hence it was sharpened to a finer point than an HB. The two groups are numbered to describe their relative hardness or blackness. The blacks, the Bs, range from B to 10B. The higher the number, the softer the lead, and the darker it will draw. Hard, the Hs, range from H to 10H. The higher the number again, the harder the lead, and the lighter it will draw. So there's a black range and a hard range of grades. But how are the grades created? Well, leads are a mix of graphite. A graphite incidentally consists of flat plates, that's why it reflects light, unlike say the grainy charcoal which has very irregular grains. Mixed with the graphite is fine clay. The two are mixed together, finely ground, extruded, baked to fuse everything together, and finally the leads dipped into wax or oil to make the application smoother. Why add the clay? Well pure graphite makes a black mark. The clay dilutes and lightens the marks. So the more clay we add to the mix, the harder and lighter is the result, which is the H grades. The more graphite, less clay, the softer and darker the lead becomes. They're the B grades. As the number goes higher, the B grades become softer and darker. And the H grades become harder and lighter. As the number goes higher, the B grades become softer and therefore darker. The H grades become harder and progressively lighter. HB in the middle is, if you like, neither hard nor dark. It's a neutral in the centre. I must give you a warning though. There is, as I said, a hardness scale from 10B to 10H, but the scale is relative. Each brand applies a scale to its own mix. One manufacturer's 2B or HB, for example, is not the same as another brand 2B or HB. The Japanese, for instance, prefer a darker HB than the Europeans. But that tends to shift the whole scale. So, where manufacturer 1 might divide the range from their darkest to lightest into 17 grades, another might do the same but produce more grades such as Mitsubishi's High Uni, which has 22 grades. For example, a Tombow 2B is darker than a Stettler 2B. I use Stettler Lumograph, but whatever your choice, find your preferred brand and stick with it. Every time you pick up a pencil, you need to know exactly how it will perform. If you don't, you'll be constantly relearning and it can be really frustrating. Pick your pencils, use just that brand, and you'll learn what every single one of those grades does precisely. Now, having said that, it is okay to use a different brand for a specific job. For instance, you might use the Tombow for producing your deep shadows. That's okay, but stick with that brand for that job. Whichever brand or mix of brands you choose, always buy quality pencils. They will use the best quality graphite. They will use the best fine clay. And they'll grind it for days, not hours. 
and that removes all the scratchy impurities. Cheaper pencils will save money by reducing the grinding time or using inferior clays. So expect to find the odd bit of grit in the mix. You do not want a pencil that is going to scratch your paper. The grades are going to be consistent. These are Stettler Lumographs from the late 1950s. This one was made this year. In over 60 years, nothing has changed. And quality pencils will have centered leads. Cheap pencils very often have off-center leads and they will break constantly whenever they're sharpened. You might think it's a cheap pencil, but it's false economy. Most of it is gonna end up in the sharpener. And finally, use the best tools. You're an artist, a craftsman, so use a craftsman's tool, even while you're learning. Don't think, well, I'll just use these cheap pencils to learn with. You'll only have to learn all over again. Start with the best tools and produce the best results you can at the time. Finally, now that you've got your artist pencils, you need to develop a system for easy and quick recognition of the grades. I mean, don't break your flow searching for your 4B. Know where it is instantly if you can. My Stettler clutch pencils, for example, have color-coded caps. I hold them in my free hand while I'm working and I can pick out any grade instantly. This is the F, this is the 2B, this is the HB, and this is the 8H. For more helpful drawing tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and explore all the videos with me at drawwithmike.net.